Karena bang Tapi ibu <laughs> Hi guys, this is me Cuisine Joyce G. Pelayo from Tree Animation and with me is my pet dog Joey which will be assisting me in discussing with you the Queen of Philippine Festival which is Flores de Mayo. And para mukha talaga tayong tunay na vlogger, let's roll intro! After nung intro, so yun, kung papansin nyo, parang may nag-iba yata sa itsura ng ni Sister Christine at ng kanyang doggy dog. Kung kanina parang malaki ang problema niya, ngayon parang mas malaki yata ang problema niya at nakagaon siya sa loob ng bahay at nakagaon pa siya. So, <laughs> ayun, so since ang topic kasi natin is about Flores de Mayo and then Santa Cruzan. So, what I'm wearing is something na mga um, marina sa Santa Cruzan would usually wear. And actually, this crown, what I'm wearing is something na I actually wore in an actual Santa Cruzan dun sa church namin from St. John of the Cross Parish. Para magkaroon kayo ng konting, ano, like, konting view kung Sayang naman kasi yung get-up natin ngayon na nanakagawin si Christine. Hindi, so, wow. Okay, at papakita lang sa inyo for a brief second. <laughs> Akahiya! Akahiya! So, ayan, going back, a lot of people has been confused between Santa Cruz and Flores de Mayo. And to clear that um, confusion, so yung Flores de Mayo is a Spanish term for flowers of May. So yung Flores de Mayo is actually an entire month of devotion to our Blessed Virgin Mary. And then yung Santa Cruz is a Spanish term for the Holy Cross. And it is the ritual pageant held on the last day ng Flores de Mayo. So, part yung Santa Cruz ng Flores de Mayo. Kasi sa Flores de Mayo, madaming activities yan, hindi lang yung Santa Cruz. Meron din yung mga katikisim for the kids wherein they will offer flowers sa ating mahal na ina and many more. So, hindi pag sinabi yung Flores de Mayo, it's not all about Santa Cruz. Though, big event ng Santa Cruz sa Flores de Mayo. So, back in the late 13th century, it was when the people started to dedicate the month of May sa ating mahal na ina. And that is also the reason why we celebrate Mother's Day during month of May. Because we dedicate this day for all the mothers and especially of course, sa ating mahal na ina kay Mother Mary. So, si Monsignor Mariana V. Sevilla na native from Santa Ines, Bulacan was recognized by the Philippine history books na siya yung first secular priest na translate ng mga existing devotional materials to the vernacular. One of which ay yung dalit kay Maria na hango sa what is this? Mesa de Maggio. It is Italian na kung saan yung mga tradisyon sa Flores de Mayo is actually based from this. And then, dahil sa pagmamahal ni Monsignor, um, Monsignor Mariano de Sevilla sa ating, sa ating mahal na ina, he introduced Flores de Mayo sa atin, to the people. Thus, the reason why siya yung tinaguri ang father of Flores. So, Ayan, he published an interpretation of Flores de Maria noong 1867. And siya yung nagpasimula ng tradition wherein we offer flowers, wherein we offer yung mga special flowers sa ating mahal na ina kay Blessed Virgin Mary. It is a really, really big celebration in the church. And... Um, talaga pinagahandaan siya ng mga pat ng parokya, ng parishioners, and everything is just magarbo during that celebration. Kasi 
everything is just adorned with flowers and then you see from left and right the reina wearing gowns and all pero Santa Cruzan is a procession of the Holy Cross and yung mga tao is nagre-recite ng Holy Rosary we sing songs of praise along the procession and then we attend mass to bless each one of us and of course yung mga magagandang dilag or ating mga reyna naka, na nakasuot ng mga gowns magagandang gowns talaga na nakapag-represent ng iba't ibang titles si Mary sa amin dito sa City of the Cross each kawan so yung kawan is like um, first streets here dito sa barangay Pembo and Rizal meron niyang mga kawan na kinabibilangan. So, if you're residing here, um, meron kang kawan na kinabibilangan. Sa buong community na yon mag ka ng isang dalaga na mag represent sa kawan ninyo para maging reyna sa Santa Cruzan. And then, the church will decide which title will be given sa kanila. But, the choosing process talagang masasabi ko na hindi lang basta-basta na para, uy, pwede ka bang gawing, ano, um, Reyna Elena or something, uy, ikaw. Ah! Shh! Wait! Hindi. It is a very tedious process to choose the right one for the right title. It doesn't end there. Na after ng Santa Cruzan, after yung musuot ng gown and all, finish ka na. No. Kailangan mong pagnilayan, kailangan mong gawin yun in everyday life para mabigyan ng justice yung pagkakatalaga sa'yo. So, ayun. Hindi ka na basta talaga nagtusot ng gawin para masabing maganda ka or para magpapansin sa crush mo during that time. Kundi, you at the exalt moment has to represent Mary and her characteristic of being a good model sa mga tao. Kaya, I believe na real beauty isn't what's, um, yung nakikita mo lang sa panglabas. The real beauty is inside this person. Um, beautiful. <laughs> um, yung procession is accompanied by the, ayun, mga musiko ng local brass band and minsan pinapatugtog yung Just the Salve, the Spanish, the Spanish version of Hail Mary. Um, yung mga devotees, yung mga ano, um, yung mga kasama sa procession, yung mga parishioners natin, um, meron silang dala na mga candles na kandila mga nakalight na yun. And, ayan, they pray. We pray as we walk. Um, it is customary for males participating sa Santa Cruzan to wear traditional barong, barong Tagalog pang mga escort sa mga females. So, since alam mo naman, minsan in life, mahirap maglakad ng nakagaon. So, need namin <laughs> ng taga-help sa men. <laughs> And then, the females as much as possible, they wear Filipiniana inspired dresses. So, um, you know, people often have a misconception that we just use this um, activity as a chance to dress up. But in actuality, it will only end up like that if you don't want to be able to do it and if you don't want to be able to do it when you're going to be able to do it. Amen, amen. So with this, no, it's important na isapose natin what each of these titles represents. And this, hindi lang yung titles, pati yung mga mar, yung mga ano, mga biblical representations, yung mga traditional personifications na meron sa Santa Cruzan. So, i-embody natin yan. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening sa mahabang talk about Santa Cruzan and sana marami kayo natutunan sa culture na meron tayo so tangkilikin pa rin natin ang sariling atin dahil dito sa Philippines marami tayong mga magagandang culture na hidden and are waiting to be exposed in public so ayun um, thank you for listening bye <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you.